Mike Young entered his first year at Virginia Tech with low outside expectations. The Hokies were picked to finish 14th in the ACC, which is second to last. But after yesterday, they're now 6-0 with a road win over Clemson and a neutral court win over Michigan State. And it's been thanks to the three-point shot. Not only have 51% of Virginia Tech shot attempts been threes, but they're making 43% of them. There's no other high major team in the country combining that level of volume and efficiency. And while it's reasonable to expect some regression is eventually on the way, their three-point shooting combined with Mike Young's X's and O's abilities make them a very tough guard. A lot of Virginia Tech's offense is initiated by hitting the elbow. Here when Beattie hits the elbow, he appears to be headed to the corner to set up split action for Aline. But the play is misdirection to get Beatty coming back to the ball. Michigan State switches the exchange, seemingly stalling out the action. But the ultimate goal of the play was actually another misdirection for Aline to get a pin down. Virginia Tech will hit that elbow for a variety of different actions. They cut with great pace, and it's hard for defenses to guess what's coming next. But Michigan State is very good defensively. Here, Xavier Tillman shows his mobility by getting out to deny one pass away. And their length disrupted Virginia Tech at times as well. The roller is open here, but the pass just can't be delivered. One of Young's favorite wrinkles off elbow catches is to reject screens and drive baseline. This is a set they've already scored off multiple times early in the season. One side of the floor is cleared out for Beattie to reject the ball screen for a baseline drive. Driving baseline immediately after catching the ball was an important part of Virginia Tech's five-out offense against Michigan State. Since they have so much shooting on the court, it put a lot of pressure on the on-ball defender to not get beat baseline. Michigan State was pretty clearly prepared to cut off the baseline, but it's easier said than done. For Tom Izzo, his defense prioritizes containing the ball and protecting the rim, more than giving up a three. Here Gabe Brown jumps to the ball exactly like he's supposed to, but the flare screen makes it hard to recover to take away the three. There were several times where Michigan State helped off the corner one pass away, and Virginia Tech did make them pay. Given Virginia Tech's personnel, I think you can argue Michigan State should have trusted their one-on-one -on -one defense more and only helped when necessary. But it's important to remember that it's a game of trade-offs, and the Spartans did take away the paint and have some disruptive possessions with their help. Michigan State was also able to avoid some three-point attempts by switching ball screens. Their bigs do a good job of keeping smaller and quicker guards in front, and some of Virginia Tech's worst offensive possessions were when they tried to attack Tillman. The final layer of Virginia Tech's offense is using cuts to open up driving lanes. This play looks a lot like one we already saw for a baseline drive, but it's actually a counter. Instead of rejecting the screen, Virginia Tech opens up a gap for BB to use the screen and hopefully draw help. It's a concept that Young uses in different ways in his offense. And while it's tempting to put the blame on a Michigan State team that now falls to 3-2 and two on the season, that Virginia Tech offense is going to be a tough one to game plan against all season long. For more on Mike Young's offense and for more college basketball analysis all season long, Subscribe to our Hoop Vision Plus newsletter today.